All right, good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California at the airport. We're going to see how this works. Airborne updates are back. Oakdale traffic, Camp 839-901 is departing runway 28 to the northwest, and I'll be looking for that inbound traffic. Oakdale. Oakdale traffic, Ryan 54876 is uh, two and a half miles southeast, and I'm on a uh, upwind. Crossing over for left downwind 280. The yellow uh, CC 22. Airspeed is alive. 40 miles an hour. 50 miles an hour. We are airborne. Climbing. Positive rate of climb. Oakdale traffic, Champ uh, 9901 is just off the uh, end of the runway, climbing, we're uh, looking for that ride. I don't see that guy. He says he's crossing over the upwind. I don't see him. He must be way up there. Uh, the numbers on the uh, upwind for two eight. Okay, champ's going to be uh, turning out to the northwest here, following the power lines. Oakdale traffic ramp, 5487, 6 3 that's the rock, we have to go left down, we have 2 8 Oakdale. Oakdale traffic, Bearhawk 75, Mike Charlie, entering upwind for 2 8 Oakdale. He's entering a crosswind, actually. He's not where he thinks he is. And Oakdale traffic, Champ has the, uh, the other traffic in sight, no factor. Oakdale. All right, now I can continue climbing in relative peace and safety. That guy didn't know where he was. Well, as I said before, good morning, everybody. Um, again, grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California. It is a beautiful okay, autumn day. Our hand down. Uh, beautiful autumn day out here in California, I gotta say. Uh, through last week, it was super hazy because of the harvest and uh, stagnant air mass sitting over the uh, valley here. But uh, it is just beautiful this morning. The air is calm, cool, and the airplane's just happy. The airplanes love calm, cool air. Well, airplanes love cool air. Pilots love calm air. So, I um, apologize that the video is shaky at all. Hopefully, YouTube will clean that up. My camera's kind of sitting on the glare screen here, the airplane, and it's bouncing a little bit. I can't find my GoPro to save my life, so. Uh, yeah. So, anyway. Just coming up on... 2,000 feet here, and I think we'll level off there. It's a different kind of altimeter. It's hard to hard to get used to. It doesn't work. Like, it's an older one, and it doesn't work like the more modern ones. It's hard to tell what altitude you're really at. It looks like you're at 1,000 feet, but you're really at 2,000 feet. So, anyway, that's a little too much inside baseball. So.
so uh, I'm going to level out here. So, yeah, there was, there was some stuff going on this week at work. There was some actual network adminning committed. Um, none of it very exciting. I actually did more server this week than I did anything else. Uh, that's bouncing a lot. Let me see if I can find a place where it's not going to bounce so much. There we go. I did more server week work this week than anything. Um, we have a, a server that uh, pulls in faxes from a cloud provider, and uh, it was misbehaving. Um, for some reason, you know, this well, the server guys were doing their uh, pre-security patch reboots. I guess they go through and reboot everything before um, before they actually do the the uh, the the Windows updates on the servers. So they did that this week, and for some reason, this fax server that we have, the only server I manage, because I got roped into it. Don't ever let yourself get roped into something you don't want to do. Anyway, the uh, that server, the network, inter the NIC on the server just stopped communicating with the network. Um, don't know why, but it just wasn't there. Uh, the network adapter status on the server itself was showing disconnected, um, but it had an IP address statically assigned. We we couldn't ping it. We couldn't RDP to it. So I had to go into the VMware uh, vSphere console to get into it, and I couldn't figure it out. My boss finally she said, "Well, let's just try this." She disabled the adapter in VMware, meaning. It would literally, in the real world, that'd be like unplugging the NIC and then plugging it back in. She re-enabled it, and uh, that seemed to do it, brought everything back. So, not sure what happened there. Oh, but then the, the fax, fax service itself um, was just hung up. No faxes were working. So, that was kind of a bummer. And it took, uh, took a, it seemed like one fax was hanging things up, and it took a while to find that. So I called the vendor. They were no help at all. Um, the only thing they did do is provide me with some great entertainment. They put me on hold, um, and the hold music was a song, a ballad, about a guy being put on hold and forgotten about, and his friends don't care about him anymore. That was, that was the most awesome hold music ever. Um, Making a turn to the east here, so it's going to get pretty bright here in a second. Um, it's close to eight o'clock in the morning here. The sun's still coming up this part of the valley. Oh, so anyway, that was the bulk of the week. And the other thing I did was um, start uh, migrating some wireless clients over to a new wireless network that uh, I created for them, and it's kind of been on the back back burner a little bit. But uh, it's it's back now, so back in my uh, sights. So anyway, yeah, that's and that's pretty much you know the bulk of the week right there. Um, there was a couple of help desk calls. Uh, they couldn't get a printer to work over in the cafeteria. It was because uh, the uh, port that they selected was used by Aramark and. Uh, we don't allow Aramark machines on our network. So I put them on an internet-only VLAN that we have. And um, they're pretty much stuck there. They use a VPN to get to their home resources or whatever. But um, yeah, putting a, a printer that you want to print to from our internal network on there isn't going to work. So go quick photographic break here. That's what I'm flying over at the moment. Woodward Lake should be back there somewhere. I can't see the camera because the sun's right in my eyes. But uh, as you can see, it's a it is a beautiful day out here in California. What's going on over here? Uh, pretty much the same thing. More beauty. The brown season. Spring is coming, and uh, that's when it's going to get real nice looking around here. Is uh, spring. So. Um, I'm going to turn to the south here a little bit because this flying into the sun is just not working for me. 
So, yeah, I've got a free morning. Usually my wife and I go out for coffee, and uh, she has to go to a doctor's appointment with, with my son, our adult son, who's in his 30s, but he's special needs, so he does need mom there. So uh, she's going to go to a doctor's appointment with him, and uh, later on we'll get together and see what's going on. So I thought I'd come out here and take a, a little bit longer of a flight. Um, go get the truck oil changed, and yeah, pretty much all we're doing. So uh, yeah, like I said, not much else uh, going on at work right now. Um, it looks like we're not going to have to do a power shutdown at all for the UPS, thanks to the engineering guys at work who put in uh, some extra power. I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to see if you guys can see that down there or not. See these little plumes of dust coming up here and there and everywhere and all over the place? I jokingly refer to that as the California dust harvest. Um, all those trees down there, those are almond trees. And uh, they're doing the harvest right now. And just out there forever, you'll see little plumes of dust all over the valley, which is why the air quality is suffering super badly right now. But, uh, yeah, they have these uh, machines called shakers. And they pull up to the tree, and it literally shakes the living daylights out of the tree. All the nuts fall out. And then they have these other machines called sweepers that come through and sweep all the nuts in a nice tidy little rows, and then a, another truck comes along behind that, scoops up all the uh, the neat rows of almonds and puts them in a hopper. And then they get taken off to the hauler, and then they get uh, sold, and uh, yeah. But it used to be, this all these trees out here that you were just looking at, that used to be cattle country. That was all cows and open range, and I liked it back then, because I could land anywhere. Now, I just have to put the least threatening tree to land on or a road, you know, skinny road or something. So, yeah, and there's a kind of, it's interspersed with uh, wine grapes too out here now. Uh, used to be Napa was the only place they grew wine out here in California. Now it's the Central Valley is where I live is quickly getting pulled up with uh, grapes, but mostly almonds. So, yeah, well, now I'm rambling on about the ag in industry, so I must not have much to talk about. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this camera around and uh, let you guys enjoy the scenery for a little bit. You can drop out whenever you want. I'll just keep the camera going for a little bit. So, as always, if you like what you saw, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, if so inclined. And... Uh, if not, we'll catch you guys all next time. Keep praying for Sam. He says he's doing better. That's great. Um, keep praying for each other. Pray for me. And uh, it's just just an honor to have you guys all along. I didn't think anybody would be interested in the, the everyday workday antics of a, uh, a short, portly network administrator. But uh, apparently people are curious. So... Anyway, see you guys next week. God bless.